Hey, Fishers, and welcome back to Your 340. I'm Seth Gastineau. And I'm Sharanya Shavasava. Happy Friday, Tigers. Sharanya, are you excited for the football games this weekend? No, I'm not. Well, guess what? Landon is. Let's head over to Landon's picks. Hey, Tigers, I'm Landon, and today I got some predictions for this weekend's football games for you. First up, we got the Seahawks versus the 49ers. I'm thinking the Seahawks are going to win, because how are you going to lose to a number, am I right? Next up, we got the Chargers versus the Jaguars. I'm thinking the Chargers are going to win, because they help us keep our devices loaded and ready. Next up, we got the Dolphins versus the Bills. I'm thinking the Bills are going to win, because Dolphins can't fight outside of water. Next up, we got the Giants versus the Vikings. I'm going to go Vikings on this one, because Vikings are really cool. They got a rich history, very awesome. There's an Assassin's Creed game about it, and it's just really cool. Next up, we got the Ravens versus the Bengals. I'm thinking Bengals are going to win this year. I just like the color orange. Finally, we got the Cowboys versus the Buccaneers. I'm thinking the Cowboys are going to win. I think they'll pull it off against the Buccaneers. They got a great season going for them, especially compared to the Buccaneers. Um, so I think they'll really pull it off in the next game. Thank you for joining us today and listening to some of my football predictions for this weekend. If you disagree with anything I said, please feel free to DM us on TikTok or Instagram. When was the first fossil founded? A, 1822. B, 1928, C, 1962, or D, 1876? Answers A, 1822. Yearbook is looking for photos from your winter break. If you have any fun pictures, scan the QR code and submit them. And if you did anything exciting over break and would like to be interviewed, please email Melissa Jessup. Hey Seth, did you see the Golden Globes this week? No, no I didn't. Well, let's head it over to the list and see Cadence rate their outfits. Hey, Tigers. Welcome back to the list. Today, we're ranking Golden Globe outfits. First, I'll rank the bad outfits, with number one being the absolute worst. And then I'll rank my top five. At number five, I have Anna Gasteyer. Um, nothing special. At number four, I have Claire Danes. In my opinion, she looks like a wedding cake. At number three, I have Britt Lower. Number two, I have Megan Stalter. And number one, the worst outfit, in my opinion, is Heidi Klum. Now for my top five outfits. At number five, I have Coleman Domingo. Number four, I have Laverne Cox. Number three, I have Anna de Armas. Number two, I have Jenna Ortega. And number one, I have Billy Porter. I just think it's very different and it's awesome. Your book also has a survey about what you celebrated over break. Feel free to scan this QR code and tell us your family traditions and holidays. Hi, Matic. I think we're off to a really great start with this whole back and forth movie review segment because I have almost the exact opposite opinion on Avatar as you do. I didn't really like the first one all that much. I've seen it. I probably wouldn't care to see it again. I think it's a gorgeous movie. The world building of Pandora is so fascinating and I love learning about their culture in the first part of the movie. But the plot is kind of boring and unoriginal, <clears throat> Pocahontas. But other than that, I just really wouldn't care enough about the first movie to go see the second one in the theaters. I'll probably see it when it comes out on like Disney Plus or something where I don't have to pay for it. But for now, I can't say anymore because I haven't seen the second movie. Uh, maybe we should just go see Puss in Boots instead. And that's your 340.